Hey folks, this is Red Falcon, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use LastPass. So let's start with the basics. What is LastPass? Basically LastPass is a password vault or password manager that installs in your browser and also on your phone or mobile device. And what it does is it'll, it will automatically fill in passwords for you uh, as well as usernames and well, that's about it. I think it'd be a lot easier if I just show you. Um, but this is the official LastPass site, um, lastpass.com. And I'm going to show you the certificate here. There we go. Organized by log me in. There's the expiration. There's the fingerprint. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a LastPass account on both uh, Firefox and Chrome. And... Uh, do a, uh, um, a website and show you how it works. So first thing we want to do is we want to install LastPass. So I've got two browsers. I've got Chrome and Firefox here. I'm going to demonstrate with Firefox first. So what you could do is from the LastPass site, you could click um, Get LastPass Free. But I actually prefer to go into the add-ons for Chrome and look for it there. And if I can spell it correctly, there we go. All right, so just type in LastPass, one word. And here it is, LastPass Manager. I like to click More so you can see uh, the developer who created it. The current version as of this recording is 3.3.1. And you're going to go all the way down here and click Install. And it will install. There it is. It requires a restart. So let's do that. So in Chrome, it's very similar. Uh, you go up here and you want to go down to, I believe they're called extensions. Go to more tools and extensions. And you want to scroll all the way down here to the bottom and click get more extensions. It'll take you to the Chrome web store. And again, we want to look, look for LastPass. Okay. And it'll be the top one here. So what we want to do is we want to click on it so we can get some more information. You want to make sure that it's offered by LastPass.com. Um, there's also some reviews and some additional information. And you want to click Add to Chrome. Add extensions. And it'll check it. And it'll actually have this little bit that downloads. So you can see it's a little more involved with Chrome. There it goes. You'll know it's installed when it's got that um, a little icon there. So what we're going to do is we're going to close this, reopen it. OK. So the first time you open up Firefox again, or Chrome, it should matter which one, um, you're going to get this message saying, welcome to LastPass. And basically, this will just be the initial setup. So we want to choose our language. And I'm assuming that if you're listening to this, um, you speak English, so we're going to choose English. And create an account. Um, you can also select no thanks and then log in. And I'm going to show you how to do that in a little bit. And ask you if you want to choose English, click yes. Okay, so what you're going to do to set up an account is you need to create, um, you need to have an email address and you need to create a master password. So what I suggest doing is for the master password, use something like Diceware to generate a uh, password and, uh, or passphrase. And if you uh, don't know how to use pass, uh, Diceware, I created a video on how to do that, and I'll link it um, below so you can um, look at that. So I've already got an email address set up. And I already created a master um, passphrase. I recommend making it at least 26 characters long. All right. And you can set a password reminder. Um, I usually don't do anything like that, so I usually put NA. Um, also, you can set your time zone here. Um, and of course, you have to agree to their terms of services. If you want to read them, they're available right here. And um, my one criticism of LastPass, and Again, it's when you're dealing with security, it's all about security versus convenience. 
So I prefer a trust no one solution such as KeePass, but it doesn't have the advantage of being uh, stored in the cloud. So um, with LastPass, um, your password data will be encrypted, but it will be stored in LastPass's cloud. So if you're nervous about that, this might not be the right solution for you, but generally for most people, um, this is the way to go because it's convenient and it's secure and it's a lot better than reusing passwords. So um, basically I like to um, turn off um, anything that keeps history or sends anonymous data. Um, also, this is really important, disable Firework, Firefox password manager. Um, Firefox is a built-in password manager that um, is very good. <laughs> in my opinion, um, from what I've seen. Um, and so you want to disable that so pass, uh, so Firefox won't offer to save passwords and instead LastPass will do that for you. All right, and we click Create Account. All right, so you need to re-enter your master password. Now again, um, this is the Achilles heel of the whole operation. If you forget this password or someone gets a hold of this password, you just gave someone access to all of your accounts. There we go, and it's creating the account. All right, um, so depending on how you use your, um, your browser, if you have been saving passwords um, to your browser, you may wanna choose the, the first option, yes, let me choose which items I wanna import in the last pass. Um, for me personally, I this is a dedicated virtual machine that I'm just using for these videos, so there are, there are no passwords in here. So I'm going to select the option no. Do not support um, import any insecure items. Okay. Um, another thing this uh, LastPass can do is it can um, pre-fill forms for you. So you know when you go to order something online, it asks for your um, name, address, credit card information. LastPass can store all that. I personally don't store that information, but I'll show you what it looks like if you choose to. Um, this is where you can put in all of your information. You create a profile. Obviously, you can choose your language. Um, this is where you can put in all your information, um, contact information, credit card information, bank account, any custom fields, any notes. If you choose to use this feature, I recommend that you um, select this option, require password reprompt. That way, if someone, um, you know, walks up to your computer while you're not there and you leave it unlocked, they won't be able to, um, say, order something on a website without your uh, consent. Um, I personally don't put this information, like I said before. Um, it's a personal preference, but if you feel that you trust LastPass enough for this information, to, to store this information, then by all means, go ahead. Um, but I personally do not. All right, and you'll get this notification. Congratulations, uh, LastPass is fully installed, and blah, blah, blah. Click OK to uh, click Continue. All right, so let me close some of these tabs here so it looks a little neat. All right, so this is um, LastPass. Um, more or less. Uh, there are some tutorials here on how to do different things. Like I said, I could spend an entire video series showing you how to use all these features. Um, but for right now, all I'm going to do is show you how to store a password for one website and then log into Chrome and um, show the other. But I, again, I highly recommend this, um, this service. It's free. Um, there is a premium version for a dollar a month that offers some additional features. But for most people, um, the free version will be uh, more than enough. So let's go to a website. I'm going to use Reddit as my example. So you see I've not logged into Reddit yet. Um, now normally, let's just log into Reddit normally. Click log in. Okay, so when you log in, you get this notification asking if LastPass should remember this password. And uh, you'll want to say save site. So what you can do is you can um, name this site. Uh, I'm just going to go with the default, reddit.com, and the folder. There are different folders that you can create. Um, by default, it puts this in social 
because it knows that uh, Reddit is a social social media site. Um, you can also choose to make that a requirement, and you can also choose a required password prompt. And also there's a uh, auto login feature as well, but we're just going to save the site. All right. So now when we go over to LastPass over here, my LastPass vault, you'll see there's Reddit um, under favorites and recently used and social. Um, one of the features I highly recommend you use is the security challenge on LastPass. Um, basically, this will go through um, all of your passwords and it'll analyze them and uh, give you uh, tips on how to improve it. I'm not going to show you this right now. Uh, if you want me to do a separate video series on LastPass, just let me know and um, I'll make one. But for now, um, just go here and uh, do a show my score once you get some passwords in there. All right, so that's um, that's Firefox. Now in Chrome, you see here, um, I'm given the option to either create an account or log in. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose log in. All right, just put in my master password here. All right. <clears throat> So you probably think it didn't take you anywhere, but if you actually go up here in the upper right corner, you can actually access your vault from here. So the interface is a little bit different on Chrome than it is Firefox. But you see, if you take a quick look, everything's pretty much in the same spot. There's a security challenge, um, form fills, your notes, and these are all your sites. And if you'll notice, here's Reddit. And I just click launch. Logs me right into my Reddit account. Well, give it a second. Okay, there it goes. Now it logged me into my Reddit account. Uh, but yeah. So that's pretty much how it works on uh, desktop browsers. Now, I did mention that it is available for mobile devices. Um, it's available for both iOS and Android. So... Here's what the app looks like on Android. This is a, the Google Play Store. Make sure you get it, get the LastPass password manager by LastPass. Um, they are listed as a top developer on Android, so um, let's make sure you verify that before you download it. Make sure you don't get a uh, um, copycat. And if you go over to the Apple Store. Here it is on the Apple Store. Um, see this one, the seller's a little bit different, but you'll still see that it says LastPass. Um, but yeah, pretty much just uh, install the app, log in with your password, and then you can use your um, LastPass account to log into websites on your phone. Well, I think that about covers it, or at least the stuff I can uh, I want to talk about right now. Again, there's so many features built in the LastPass that I could go on for a whole series about it. But I'm going to end the video here. I want to thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, please put them down in the comments below. And as always, stay safe out there.